Well, welcome to the journey. My name is Kevin Polkey, and today is going to be a reflection on um, that has really been sparked by some events that have happened just recently. Um, my youngest just graduated um, with her undergraduate degree in social work, and my son graduated six months ago um, with his master's in social work. And so that gives me a time to kind of ponder that uh, 31 years ago, I had finished up my undergraduate degree. And um, so if that was 31 years ago, uh, then 26 years ago, I finished up my master's degree in social work. And I think of what has come along that during that time period from first jobs being in juvenile corrections to um, working in a psychiatric hospital and working with um, individuals that struggled with substance abuse to then going back to school to get my master's and then working as a school social worker. And then since uh, 1999, um, working as uh, a clinical social worker primarily. That, that, that this time period, um, especially, specifically as a clinical social worker, I've been asked many times the question of uh, how long do I have to do this? And I think initially that the question is uh, physically, how long do I need to continue counseling? Um, obviously that is a, a, in most cases, that's a choice based upon the individual and where they feel they need want to go and need to be. But I wonder if it speaks even greater to we as humans or what we're tempted to think about. I think this idea of uh, when I go on vacation, that um, especially if it's a road trip and I go on vacation, that, that it may be a 12-hour drive to get to where I need to go. And if I'm not uh, careful, I could be tempted and uh, wanting to hurry up and get to wherever that place is, that somehow I want that time to go by faster, that the, that the 12 hours in the car um, are actually a burden um, to being there. But those time periods when I've been intentional about that the minute we leave the driveway, that the journey begins, that I'm intentionally focused on that vacation has begun, this, this, this part of the journey has begun, that every thing that we see along the road, that every stop at a gas station or rest area um, are all part of an opportunity to meet someone new, the opportunity to see something that I hadn't seen before. Each aspect of that is part of the journey that it's less about arriving and it's more about the entire process. I think of when I used to be a competitive athlete and uh, dieting for 12 to 16 weeks to get ready for a competition and that I would spend a year training and then the last four months specifically dieting and increasing the intensity of the training and then everything would be done in less than 24 hours. That what I learned most and what I got most out of that experience was the training. It wasn't the day of the event, regardless of, of what uh, place that I may have gotten in that competition, that it was more about um, the experience of the training, the things that I was able to, in this case, transform my body into, but then the mental and emotional and spiritual part as well. So I think this idea of being able um, to look at uh, the journey, and if we're looking at changing a particular thought process or changing a particular behavior, um, instead of it just being about the end point, uh, how do I measure, how do I look at the, the journey and the progress that I'm making? Recently, I was reflecting on um, one of my meditations, and this is um, by Epictetus. He writes, if you don't wish to be a hothead, 
don't feed your habit. Try as a first step to remain calm and count the days you haven't been angry. I used to be angry every day, now every other day, and then every third or fourth. If you make it as far as 30 days, thank God, for habit is first weakened and then obliterated. When you can say, I didn't lose my temper today or the next day, or for three or four months, but kept my cool under provocation, you will know you are in better health. I think this idea of taking uh, one day at a time and not focusing on that something will magically happen when I get so many days of counseling and so many days of sobriety, so many days of exercising, that it's really about how the transformation process is happening along the way. That it isn't about some um, literal prize that will be attained at the at some given point in it, that, that maybe the journey is more uh, about the experience of it and how we are transforming through the experience that when setbacks happen, that's also part of the journey, not necessarily an omen that you're on the wrong path or a path that you were never supposed to be on at all, that this is all part of that experience and something for us to learn and develop into. I know for me that it's much better for me to think about uh, the experience of, of the entire vacation, the experience of the entire um, uh, improving my body, improving my mind, improving my spirit, improving my relationships uh, so I can be the best version of myself. That if I focus on that and not just some arbitrary or imaginary prize that's supposed to happen or some arrival date, um, that I do much better when inevitable setbacks happen um, or when inevitable uh, prizes come as well, that I'm able to keep them both in perspective because like many of the competitions or all the competitions that I was in, no matter what the place was, um, there was also then a time period where then it ended, we got off stage and the next day, um, Everything was the beginning of getting back to a, a, a normalcy or non-training time period. Um, so again, this is not to not take away from the excitement of the day of, of arrival or the day of, uh, of, of, of when an event happens. It is just to be able to remind ourselves that there is to keep that in perspective and that there will be another um, vacation to continue on. And then how do we take the things that we benefited most from that vacation, bring that back into our everyday life so that we can savor those moments and continue um, that, that process of growth and development and that it's just not one stagnant uh, or static um, point. As always, uh, continue um, to be mindful, continue to um, be reflective and continue to uh, move ahead in your own personal growth and development. As always, share this. Um, Share your thoughts as you reflect on this um, with others. And definitely, I encourage you to share your thoughts with me as well. And if you believe that someone could benefit um, from this particular reflection, um, please share that with them. Um, we just never know where someone someone's at and where they may need to hear uh, some words of hope or encouragement. You have a great week, and I look forward to talking to you next week.